Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Really excited to bring you this swim strength session. It's gonna work your shoulders, work your back muscles at the top and the bottom, and your triceps, as well as your core muscles. Tough session. Two minutes is what you're gonna to aim to build up to over the next six weeks with a 30 second recovery in between the eight exercises I have for you. For today, we're gonna to start with one minute with a 15 second recovery in between. All right, heart rate will be up. It is a cardio based strength workout. We'll build those muscles, maintain your strength and build strength. For this session, you will need at least a pair of dumbbells and maybe a medicine ball if you have it, but not essential. So a pair of dumbbells, minimum requirement. You don't need to use weight. You can use a couple of tins at the cupboard if that's your level, okay? Here we go, starting with squat press, no weight. So we're here, pushing up, pumping, small depth to start with, warming up with our legs, our tummy and our arms, all right? One minute of each exercise. Just pressing the arms upwards, pushing for your legs, driving for your arms, working the shoulders, warming up the triceps. Breath out as we go up. One minute, all right? So your goal will be simple. Every week, increase the length of the exercise from one minute, working your way up to two minutes. Allow yourself increasing rest up to a total of 30 seconds. When you can do that, you can then really push it and do two rounds. That will give you a 40 minute workout. Tough. Three, two, one. Now, pick up your weights if you're gonna use any. If you don't wanna use any weights, you don't need to. 15 second rest is not long. Three, two, one. Same thing. Work in your shoulders. Work in the front of your shoulders as we press up. You'll notice I've got my weights pointing forward rather than there, yeah? So I want them here, specifically hitting the front of your shoulders. Pushing through your legs, driving the arms up, pumping. seconds here. Push, 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 push. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the weights and get you ready for bed over row. Deep breath in, compose yourself. Here we go. You're here, rowing in. Chest is up, chin is in, rowing the weights and elbows past your rib cage. Working your legs, working your core, working your arms, working your upper back. Lightly squeeze and draw shoulder blades together. You'll notice I'm going slower with this drill the controlled movement, make sure the muscles are working as you release. So it's not just up, it's as you release. 15 seconds, row, release. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Here we go. Five seconds left. One more repetition, one more repetition. Keep hold of your weights. If you've got them, if it's getting too much, lose them. Deadlift coming up, quick demo. Straight arms, straight back. There, all right, you ready? Tummy on, three, two, one, go. So you may feel a bit of a stretch for your hamstrings. 
you've got to make sure your tummy is zipped up, your back muscles are lightly pinched higher up, and your tummy is zipped up, arms are straight. We're not going to go too low. This exercise is loading your glutes, hamstrings, quads, back muscles, upper and lower back in particular. tucked in so your spine is aligned head is on top now it's like a sauna in here so I've got all my windows shut to block out any background noise so if I start sweating forgive me yeah but that is why five seconds left three two one now if you've got one it's like a little medicine ball or a little kettlebell if you haven't, you can still keep hold of your dumbbell. I'll show you from the front. We're doing push up, one hand on, one hand off. Yeah? 30 seconds each side, knees or on toes. So pick your level. Pause it up, strong in your tummy, hold your body shape, hold your position. Three, two, one. Chain sides. Weight comes over the other side, hand while you're mad. Remember you can start on knees. If tippy toes is too much, okay? How about it staggered? Just hit your muscles a little bit differently. 15 seconds left, here we go. Breathing out as you push up. Last one, good. Lose your weights. The other option with the kettlebell was just to have your hand on it there, yeah, if you have one. If not, as you can see, it doesn't matter. Now, single arm, bent over row, with your weight or dumbbell. So I'm gonna go with my kettlebell here, bent over row, that position, rowing, drawing shoulder blades together, tummy zipped up, half a minute one side, half a minute another. We'll add a little bit of rotation. So you can see I'm allowing my spine just to gently rotate up as I squeeze my elbow in. So make sure you're good there before you add that in. So rotation, rotation. Rotation, draw your shoulder blades together. Don't let your shoulder blades, your shoulders start shrugging up. Keep them down. Change. Core on. In, one, two, right? Once you've got that row, you can add that bit of rotation. Hold your position, don't start getting hunched. Nice flat back. Nice flat back. Three, two, one. There okay, go, I told you I was gonna start sweating. It is like a sauna in here. Tricep pressed up, going in five. Hands are narrow, knees to start with if you're unsure. Elbows in tight. Pinch your ribs, okay? Pinch your ribs. Chest coming over your hands, over your hands. Not wide, Our elbows out, elbows in. Push, push, push. Much harder than a normal push up because you're specifically hitting 
your triceps, yeah? Specifically hitting your triceps. So if you started on your toes and you're fatiguing it, come down onto the knees, okay? Come down onto the knees. Come up to the last 15 seconds. Here we go. One more. Little sit back. Woo. Next move, plank, full arm, into rotation up. Are you ready? Come with me. Core exercise, good for your shoulders. Good for your lats. If you're feeling really unstable, legs wider. Yeah, that will help. You won't be in as good position, but it will allow you to do it. The progression being feet on top, dead straight. One more. Back in, 15 second reprieve, not long is it? Next exercise, come with me on this, this is tough. Give you two different options. Forearms, option one. Knee lift, knee lift, then return, then from here, push, hammer in the triceps. Level two, one, knee lift, two knee lift. Now push. Lower the legs one at a time. Other leg to go up first. Stay relaxed and unhunched. Do not hunch. Pick your level. Remember, easier version was one, two, then return, back down, and then push. The harder level, one, two, Push, return, one, two, choose your option, see it out. Two left, there's one, one more. There we go, don't forget to stretch off. Just uploaded a nice upper body stretch, stretch session, which will complement after this one well. I told you I was in a little sweat box, sweating like an absolute demon. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed that. Remember, that's your start point. Build to two minutes, half a minute rest. Build to two rounds. Hope you enjoyed that. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Really appreciate your feedback. Tell me what content you like. More Pilates specific workouts coming next time. See you soon. Hope you enjoyed it.